it is a small town here. Um, there's a lot of little small towns uh, outside of the military bases that are really tiny and the streets are narrow. I kind of feel like uh, the guy I'm breaking away. Joe Papa, Joe Mama. This is new, I don't know where the hell I am. Drivers have been pretty courteous, letting me take left, letting me take right. It's all good. A little overcast today, they say it's gonna rain. Not sure what the weather holds, but this is a pretty cool bridge that's under construction. I think they're just repainting it. It does have some historical significance, which I will put at the bottom of the screen. I want to go down there, but my bike is a little heavy and I'm not feeling it after uh, riding for about an hour. So let me see if I can find a trail that leads me down there. I think there might be one on the other side. I gotta tell you, it looks pretty, but it doesn't smell pretty. It doesn't smell pretty at all. It actually smells like a lot of fish have uh, met their fate here. And by fate, I mean they've been fried up and then discarded. Let me see if I can find that bridge. Looks like I'm getting closer. I found water. The same wood from the park. Boy, so obviously I'm close because I see a lot of kayaking. Look at that, my Cuban navigation. If you're wondering why so many of us end up in Key West and in Florida from Cuba, this is why, because we have excellent navigational skills. Although I probably should have taken a left there because now I am stuck with nowhere to turn around. Um, really, really peaceful spot here. Uh, the bridge is right up there and it looks pretty cool. There you go, looks pretty good up there. Um, just a gentleman walking straight ahead. It is really peaceful down here considering the hustle and bustle that's going across that bridge. Of course, I'm always on the lookout for snakes because I hear this place is full of them. So I look at the water and I don't see anything. Oh wait, what's that? Just fish. So there are fish in here. And again, random tomb, random tomb. So they're everywhere around here. Great, and as I said, those were the stairs that I was up before. You can see it's blocked off. So I wasn't able to get down here, but really a peaceful spot. I'm more of a surfer than a kayaker uh, or a scuba diver, so thank you, Dustin. Maui surfer girls, woo-woo! All in all, it's a pretty cool place to be. And here's someone left their kayak, right there. Coolest thing about Japan is, you see that kayak? You see that one over there? Nobody's gonna touch it. Nobody's gonna take it. Nobody's gonna screw with it. No one's gonna mess with it. It's somebody's kayak and everybody knows that. So they're gonna leave it there. Now, if it's there, obviously, for a long time, I imagine the police will come out and be like, hey, what's up? You can't just leave your shit everywhere. But it's a really safe place. And people take pride in both their possessions and the fact that no one's going to steal from you, for the most part. These people are freaking awesome. You know, the Okinawans just, you know, there's no, hey, you stinky Americans. That's, there's none of that. It's all hi, hi, smiles. Can we help you with this? You know, they try to overcome the language barrier, as do we, or as do I, at least. I can't speak for everybody. But it's a great place to be. And I don't even know why I'm showing you that back there when you really want to see that. So it looks like the workers have come back from lunch. They're actually repairing the bridge and painting it red. You can see a couple of uh, finishing touches they've already done. You will see a lot of canopy shielding everybody from paint. So I'm gonna get the hell out of here before they paint me red. And on to our next adventure.
got a little too hairy for me on the main road with all the street lights and having to remember, hey, idiot, you're supposed to be on the left side of the road, and the idiot being me. Getting down to that bridge was all downhill. So I flew down here. It was, uh, it was pretty good. Getting back up, holy crap. Getting back up is gonna be the biggest pain in the ass. I gotta get back into shape. I'm a climber by trade. So I'm going way the hell up there. I'm going way up there to that hotel, the pink one. It's, it's gonna be tough. That's a, that's a tall hill. So I will stop before I throw up and then update you on my progress. But if you're seeing this, I obviously made it home because there's no way I could upload this video on the road. Up the hill we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. I'm just taking a quick breather, and then I've got to go way the hell up there. Way up there. Almost as tall as that cell phone tower. Damn. Ooh. So, the good news is, the good news is I made it. Steep ass climb. It seemed like I was going up forever. I'm relatively in one piece. Bad news, I blew two spokes, meaning they cracked, and my wheel was wobbly about halfway up, but I made it here. How hot is it? I don't know that there's a true representation of me sweating to really relay how hot it is out here today. I think it's 93 with humidity just through the roof, so it's super hot here. But I made it, no need to send flowers, I'm gonna be all right. Maybe I'll go get some pancakes, as much as that makes me wanna throw up in my mouth a little. I think it might be needed. Let me throw it back to me when I wasn't so tired. Thanks for watching and as always, if you see anything you wanna know more about, please email me. The link's at the bottom of the video. Also, let me know what you think. Like it, subscribe, and please share with your friends. Again, if you know anybody in the military, give them a hug or a handshake, cause it ain't easy. And we'll see you next video.